The next topic is inventory. Sage 50 Accounting's inventory functionality tracks the products and services that your company buys and sells. As inventory related transactions are posted to the general ledger, the quantities and cost of goods amounts for stock and assembly items are updated. Sometimes it may be necessary to adjust inventory levels so that they agree with the physical count. Inventory adjustments can be used to accomplish this. Inventory adjustments can also be used to reduce the stock of items that were used for a job. To enter an inventory adjustment, select Inventory Adjustments from the Inventory and Services Navigation Center. On the Inventory Adjustment window, select the item to adjust, enter a reference number and a date, and select a general ledger account in the GL Source account field. Inventory adjustments affect the inventory account and the account entered into this field. To increase the quantity on hand of an item, enter a positive number into the Adjust Quantity By field, and then enter the unit cost of each item in the Unit Cost field. To decrease the quantity on hand, enter a negative number in the Adjust Quantity By field. If the inventory adjustment is negative, you cannot enter a value in the Unit Cost field as Sage 50 calculates the unit cost based on the chosen items costing method. Inventory reports provide both historical information and information about the current status of your inventory items. To preview or print these reports, select View All Inventory and Services Reports from the Inventory and Services Navigation Center. The Bill of Materials report lists assemblies and their component details including the number and cost of each component and the estimated cost to build each assembly. The Cost of Goods Sold Journal lists the total cost for each item sold at the time of the sale and the accounts that were debited or credited. This report can be used to verify that the general ledger postings for cost of goods sold and inventory accounts for sales transactions are correct. The Inventory Profitability Report lists each stock and assembly item and their units sold, their costs, gross profit, and gross profit percentage for the selected date range. This report is useful for identifying items that contribute the most and least to gross profit. And the item list lists all of your inventory items and can be used to quickly determine quantities on hand for your inventory.